boys and girls, this is Mrs. Conway, your principal, coming to you with our staff story for this evening, and I am going to be reading The Night Before St. Patrick's Day by Natasha Wing. So we have St. Patrick's Day coming up next week, so it'll be a lot of fun, and I hope that you enjoy the story The Night Before St. Patrick's Day. Twas the night before St. Patrick's, the day to wear green. Not a creature was stirring except Tim and Maureen. They decked out the din from the ceiling to the floor with streamers and rainbows and shamrocks galore. Later they carefully made traps with gold charms and rings. I bet we catch a leprechaun. They love shiny things. For if they caught one, so the legend told, they'd find where he buried his big pot of gold. They set all the traps round their room with great care, in hopes a wee Irishman soon would be theirs. The children then nestled all snug in their beds, while visions of golden coins danced in their heads. Happy St. Patty, said Dad early the next morning. Then he started to play bagpipes without warning. He huffed and he puffed an old Irish song. Mom dished out green eggs and sang loudly along. When from their bedroom there arose such a clatter, the kids ran down the hallway to see what was the matter and what to their wondering eyes should appear. What do you think it is? But a terrible mess! A leprechaun was here! Be quiet, whispered Maureen. He's hiding somewhere. When we find him, remember, we must hold his stare. For if you look away, if you so much as blink, leprechauns vanish quick as a wink. The kids trailed money footprints back and forth across the floor. which led them under Tim's bed and past the closet door. And then inside a trap, they heard someone giggling. A real live leprechaun, they both saw him wriggling. His eyes, how they twinkled, his body so tiny, his hands clasped a trinket so golden and shiny. He was dressed all in green from his head to his toes, and he looked like a cobbler wearing fairy-sized clothes. The children approached him, staring straight in his eyes. Tell us where the gold is. Don't be tricky. No lies. I buried it under a rock smooth and hard. It's marked with an X right in your backyard. But when the kids went outside with their shovel and pick, they instantly saw it had been a big trick. Ha ha, I fooled you, it's time to disappear. Happy St. Patty's Day to you, and better luck next year. All right, boys and girls, I hope you enjoyed the story the night before St. Patrick's Day, and I hope you have a great weekend. See you on Monday.